So a lot of y'all already know, for those who follow me on Instagram, So a lot of y'all Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me here again. This video in particular is a little bit of an exciting one for me to make because I haven't made this type of video in a long time. So a lot of y'all that already know, who follow me on Instagram and or YouTube, which I hope y'all follow me on both, um, I recently sold the Vulcan S. Uh, the, this bike that I've had since 2017, the bike that I started this channel on, the bike that I started, you know, riding and motovlogging on and all that. I sold it um, about uh, two weeks ago or so by now. And I mentioned that, um, you know, I was already in the works of getting a new bike and whatnot. And I didn't want to reveal what it was at the, at the time. For the first time in a long time, what we have here is a new bike reveal. A video that I haven't made in a long, long time. Last time I made one of these was uh, that ZX6R I used to have. The blue one that I bought from Jake the Garden Snake back in uh, Texas. And so yeah, this bike, I've, I actually bought it. At the time of this recording, i already been having it for a little less than a week. I bought it last Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday of last week of this recording. Um, so I've had a little bit of time with it. Not as much time as I would like yet because I haven't had the time to ride it a lot. But I'm off this weekend and you know, let's, let's, I'm, I'm going for a ride on this thing. So, <laughs> but yeah, but without further ado, here is the new bike. That's right guys, I got me a 2022 Yamaha MT-07 in the cyan in the cyan storm color. Some of y'all probably already know, but I've been wanting a naked bike for years. The first naked bike that I had in mind was a Z900 from Kawasaki. The MT-07 was on the list too, but at the time I was kind of a Kawasaki fanboy, so I was just like, you know, uh, Z900 all the way, but I secretly liked the MT, MT line from Yamaha at the same time. Um, I was also considering other things too, like uh, the CB line from Honda, um, SV650 from Suzuki, those things are nice. Eventually I decided on either the Z900 or the MT-07 after I moved here. So funny enough, so some of y'all know I work at a motorcycle dealership. The car and motorcycle industry right now is really not that great in terms of getting stock and getting, you know, um, products from these manufacturers. Um, it was really, really hard to get the M any of the MTs, really. Uh, and every time we did get one, it was already, like, uh, spoken for, had a deposit on it. And then we started picking up CF Moto motorcycles um, a few months ago. Uh, the first batch of them came in a few months ago. And their CLX 700 Sport, I was considering that for the longest time. Because I did my research and everything, not just as a salesman, but just for my own benefit. It checked off a lot of boxes. It was a nice bike, especially for the price point that they, that they come in. I was pretty much set on that because I kept thinking like, well, we're never really going to get MT-07s. They're not, never really going to get Z900s very often. This batch of CF Moto motorcycles we got is here. It's available. It checks off all the boxes. Why not? Um, but I didn't want to buy it at the time because I wanted to sell the Vulcan S first. 
Fast forward to when I sold the Vulcan S, the very next day at work, this bike was there, sitting there on the showroom floor. For the first time this whole in this whole year that it was on the floor, available. No deposits, no nothing. I took it as a sign. I took it as a sign that like, hey, finally got your Vulcan S sold. But the bike that you really wanted is here now. Go get that CF Moto. So I did it. <laughs> you know, I went, I went for it. Honestly, I would have been happy with the CLX 700. I've test rode it and it's actually a pretty nice bike. Arguably, this bike is more characteristic because of the engine, which is the hallmark of this bike. This is what I wanted originally, so whatever. <laughs> and to be honest, the, the colors that these MT-07s come in, I like them all. So I wasn't really too hard pressed about any color that came in that was available. And I like the Cyan Storm color. It's pretty unique, you know. I really dig the display. It's actually pretty, pretty visible, especially out in the when it's sunny out like this. So it's I like it. I like it a lot. I've only had it for less than a week. I've only put 49 miles on it, 50 miles basically. Uh, I'm not really dogging it out. I'm not really like giving it the beans or anything because I want to, you know, do it right. I want to wait till the break-in period is over and done with before I start really ringing her out. The few places I've taken her so far, like in terms of twisty roads, man, it's 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 night. It's like a whole new level from the Vulcan S. Speaking of, where I'm at right now is where I recorded my first moto vlog with the Vulcan S after that years-long hiatus. I posted that maybe a month or so ago, but it just seemed right to record this vlog in the same spot. So I want to do an owner's review or just some kind of review of this bike. But I want to wait about a week or so because I want some time with the bike first. Um, I also want to do a video on like me comparing it to the old Vulcan S on how much different it is. Of course, I'm going to do some install videos and whatnot of uh, mods and upgrades that I get for it because I will be doing that. <laughs> for now, let us jump on the bike and go for a ride. All right, guys first well i mean not first ride for me because i've rode it a few times but a maiden voyage of the mt07 on my channel at least in terms of moto vlogs go Ooh, shit. Ooh -wee. i gotta say i've only had this uh, less than a week but man this thing oof, i love it the amount of low and mid-range torque this thing has you know, it's so, look at that, oh shit, I wasn't even really max wristing it, you know, I just gave it some beans, I don't want to really talk about this compared to the Vulcan S right now, I want to save that for another video, but I will say this, this thing is, in pretty much almost every category, this bike is, Pretty, pretty much uh, next level compared to the Vulcan S. The, the torque, the power, the, the flickability, handling, weight. There's some stuff that it, it doesn't have that uh, the Vulcan S does, but I mean, we'll, we'll get to that to a in a uh, we'll get to that in a different video. Oh shit, rock clippings. From the factory, this bike has Michelin Road 5s, which are actually really, really good. Uh, I actually was considering getting a set for the Vulcan S um, if I uh, if I hadn't sold it. If I hadn't sold it, I would have gotten uh, new tires for it so I could, you know, ride around on it because the, the tires on them were, were trash. But yeah, from the factory, this has Michelin Road 5s, which is nice. And they're still fairly new so I gotta take it easy on some of these curves you know they're still new tires I gotta avoid puddles and stuff like that too one very very stark difference between this and the Vulcan S is how quiet this thing is huh I can't, I mean me from my point of view I can't hear it at all unless I'm going really slow miles per hour like we're talking like under 30 miles an hour then I could kind of hear it but I hear wind noise more, more than uh, more than the exhaust on this thing. I will be getting an exhaust for this eventually. I, I 
pretty much been doing research and narrowed it down to a few options, but I'll want to wait till after the break and I want to enjoy it for how it is first. And also just for the sake of uh, longevity of the engine and all that, I want to make sure that this thing has got the, got the miles on it before I start throwing on exhausts and, and all these other stuff on it. Oh my god, so nice. Oh look, a biker. Boy, that was a scooter. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Go, I will say, going up... So I went up... To record the beginning of this video, I went up the same route. Um, like like what I did with the Vulcan S. And it was... I gotta admit, I gotta say, it was, it was easier with this bike. Because of how nimble this bike is, you know? My initial impressions though of this bike after only owning it for less than a week is I absolutely dig it. I've been wanting a naked bike for so long. To me the naked bike category is the perfect uh, category uh, for someone who wants a bike for the street, at least for the most part. Uh, if, if you want a bike for the street, that is, uh, oh here we go that is sporty yet comfortable look no further than the naked bike category you know so I had that Vulcan S and at one point I had that ZXXR look, look how look how effortless I'm <laughs> I had to go really slow with the Vulcan S but yeah I had the Vulcan S and the ZXXR the Vulcan S easy bike to get around town not too slow not too fast you know it's comfortable for the most part at least um, uh, I'll get around but the ZX6R was an exhilarating hey look a Vulcan S speaking of holy shit <laughs> but the ZX6R was absolutely exhilarating in terms of performance and speed oh my god I, I honestly miss that bike but yeah so like the naked bike category to me was like the, the, the middle, like the middle between the Vulcan S and the ZXXR basically. Fun, sporty, pretty pretty quick, um, but still fairly comfortable and easy to ride around town and whatnot, you know? It strikes that middle ground. That just, to me it's perfect. It's, it's the perfect middle ground. Y'all know me. I'm a Kawasaki fanboy, a Honda fanboy, so I had to get a Yamaha. <laughs> we could give, give her a little bit of the beans here. I'm not redlining it. Just letting it pull by itself. Oh man. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Oh poor guy. Just wanted to feel the lightning a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm falling more and more in love with this bike to be quite honest, you know? <laughs> the more I keep it the more I look at it, the more I ride it and all that. I like more bikers, they probably came from the Blue Ridge Parkway. Hey, look, bikers. Hell yeah, brothers. Crank them hogs. Watch out for the clippings, though. But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm not trying to review this bike yet or anything. I just wanted to introduce y'all to my new bike. If y'all like the video, like the video. Comment if you want. Uh, share the video, too, if you and, and you know, subscribe if you haven't yet. Other than that, thanks for watching 